Hi guys! In the previous video, we have learned the basic way on how to build a genetic diagram. So today, let's do another one. From the previous cross that we have done between a purebred tall pea plant and dwarf pea plant, we get that all the F1 offspring will have the genotype capital T, small t, or heterozygous, and tall phenotype. So now, let's do a self-cross on the F1 offspring. Self-cross refers to crosses between individuals of the same generation. So in this case, F1 offspring is crossed with another F1 offspring. Since homologous chromosomes separate during gametogenesis, these two alleles will separate and end up in different gamete cells. To help you combine the alleles from each parent during fertilization to produce F2 generation, you could build a punnet square like this. Place the alleles from one parent on the top row of the table, and then place the alleles from another parent down the most left column of the table. And then combine the alleles like this. Please remember to always put the capital letter at the front. Then, write down the genotypic ratio of the F2 generation. 1 homozygous dominant, capital T, capital T. 2 heterozygous, capital T, small t. And 1 homozygous recessive, small t, small t. Then, write down the phenotypic ratio of the F2 generation. Since we know that the allele capital T is dominant, these three genotypes will have tall phenotype and only this genotype will have dwarf phenotype, giving the ratio of three tall to one dwarf.